in front of us there is there are the signs uh, where the the advertising of the concert we had the last year this year not last year this year in july of the andrea bocelli and for the first time uh, uh, the concert the performance was a real opera uh, not like a uh, music or songs uh, with a uh, lots of uh, artists that come in uh, usually but this year used to be a uh, real opera it was the Andrea Chenier and was the, the first opera Andrea Bocelli who saw when I was a kid so it was a dream for him to uh, to sing in a, in an opera on this kind of opera and now we uh, leave the motorway to go to Florence and uh, we are going to in the countryside now Massimo. Massimo. Mas Massimo. Massimo. Like a Max. Massimo. Oh, okay. That is Max. It's my English version. Crops uh, around here usually are uh, wheat of sunflowers. That's the two main uh, uh, production. And uh, you can see the, the, uh, the vineyards. Wine. Wine, wine everywhere. So on the right side here, you can see a village on top of the hill with the, with the, with the tower, the bell tower. That is a Terricciola, and that is the, the capital of the Pisan Chianti Hills. Because when we talk about the Chianti wine, not Chianti, but Chianti, that's the real name there. Um, we have a, uh, the regional Chianti area, area is between Florence and Siena. And that's uh, the way produce the Chianti classical, the classic one, the original one. 
But the Chianti, it's a blend of uh, different grapes. It's not a grape. It's a Sangiovese grape. You know this name, if you love, if you like wine. Sangiovese is the main part of the Chianti. The, re the original recipe uh, coming from the 19th, at the beginning of the 19th centuries uh, uh, by the Florentines. Uh, uh, I forgot the name now. So that's a he make the, the real recipe of the time. The minimum percent of the Chianti is 70% of Sangiovese. And the other 30% we blend with the local uh, the Sangiovese. It's a Italian grape. It's a local grape. But we call it like, um, we say Malvasia, Colorino, Chile Giallo, another kind of grapes to give the, the characteristic of that. And minimally, they need to stay one year in uh, between the barrels, uh, the tanks, and the bottles. That is uh, the standard. And um, so, and the Chianti Classico is just between Florence and Siena. The other part of Tuscany, we produce Chianti too, but we need to, uh, to specific which part of Tuscany come from. So the Chianti Pisan Hills, uh, the Chianti Florence, uh, the Chianti uh, from, uh, from Siena, so the, the specific area of that. The trees on the right. This kind of trees, we call it uh, pop poplars, poplars? It's uh, fast growing, and we use for um, to produce the paper or the. the <laughs> sorry for the, So that's when we mash the, the, the trees and uh, we produce the uh, the kitchen or what do you need? Uh, the the folds uh, timber. Paper towels. Uh, yes, uh, like this. So these trees on the right side, I think you know, they are olive trees. That says that when they see the trees like this, they are olives. So on the hills, on the uh, Tuscany, it's full of olive trees. That's why wine and uh, olive oil they are the, the main uh, farm producer here. And that's the, uh, the most important uh, production in Tuscany. At the farm, they produce the olive oil too, and you will taste on the bruschetta the olive oil too. We have a truck. That is winter. Uh, in the summer, when the August, uh, when it's the peak of the heat, uh, it's a little bit more yellow brown, but usually uh, it's green now until uh, May. So May, they change again the color to yellow, uh, because of June, uh, it's, uh, when we harvest the, uh, the wheat, You can see the olive trees on the your right side. It's um, uh, we prune in a, in a way to open the, the branches and they stay open like this because the sun could be go inside uh, at the trees and it could be uh, more uh, for the olives, more sun for the olives. So the hills uh, has uh, something special. Uh, someone they love, someone they hate. Truffles. <laughs> so someone they fall in love with truffles, so what, because uh, uh, it's, uh, it's too strong. But here we have uh, the, the white truffles, the, the, the white one, uh, and that is the season. Uh, November, December, uh, January is the season for the white truffle. And here just beyond of this hill we have the San Miniato, is the capital of the white truffle. Uh, uh, in your country, uh, or here, we can cultivate the truffles, but it's the black one. 
the black one or the brown one or the summer one, we say, uh, it's a little bit more woody in the taste and cost less. <laughs> Uh, the white one, uh, this season, uh, it's uh, about 3,000 euro uh, for kilo, so that's it. And just uh, yes, two days ago, they found that one uh, of two kilos. It's a very, very brave, uh, but more than two kilos. So one olive like this uh, could be cost uh, about 200 euro. Uh, that's a standard, one, uh, 150, 200 for, for this. And then the best way to to appreciate the, the truffle is uh, the white pasta on top and shave on top, grate right on top, or the fried egg. Just a fried egg and put the, the truffle that, that is the best way to, to appreciate uh, the truffle. Yeah, and the market in the I don't remember. We were in a market a few days ago, and um, they had the black truffles for 900, 900 euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the quality yeah. and the, the area. Here, it's one of the best. We have a uh, truffle area. It's a San Miniato here, and one is in, in Alba, in the north of Italy, close to Turin, where they produce the Barolo. Uh, the other kind of wine, that's uh, the, the, the two competitors to have uh, the best white uh, truffles, and we have more white truffles now. Yeah, yeah that so one was the, the black truffle. Now, so, yeah, it's, yeah, now it become more and more popular than the past. In the past, it was just for the elite yeah. uh, food, not, not, not for everyone. If you want to pay, you can have it. <laughs> yeah. Sign on the bottom here, San Gimignano 35 Ks. Yeah. It's a normal motorway, <laughs> Mario said. Uh, more. more. Because it's a little bit oh, okay. windy, okay. <laughs> up and down like this. That makes sense. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's good. It's prettier than California. <laughs> here we have, uh, um, you can see on the, the cows here. You can see uh, animals outside, like you have in your country. One, because of the space. We have, we need to decide all crops of animals. That's it. Uh, and here we have the natural predator. Uh, we still have the, um, the wolf. So, uh, the flocks and, uh, and the cows we can leave uh, outside in the night, every night we need to put it in the shade. You see the some ships here. the tobacco because in this area until uh, 100 years ago we still produce the tobacco and now we move the, the crops uh, over overseas uh, for the, the new law and that's a change uh, lots of uh, sunflowers and wheat and, uh, and, uh, and um, 
vineyards. So that says that we're still on this big building, tobacco shade, right? Tobacco. So we, we used to grow crops in Kentucky tobacco to produce the Tusk, Tusk, Tuscan cigarro uh, for, the, for the people they love to smoke. So that's a very, very uh, old style of cigarro uh, Tuscany coming from uh, this kind of uh, tobacco. Our farms, they are very, very small. Uh, not the size that you have in, uh, in the States, and they are family. Uh, all this style coming um, after the, the fascist time, because in the time, at the beginning of the fascism, the lots and lots of property was divided and give out the, the families. So that was at the beginning of the, uh, the last centuries was the style. And a few families, they still have the largest ones but every uh, so when you can see the house it's a it's a farm it will be the crops around that is the standard we have It's a brand new horse place. You can see the, uh, the roof they have at the south solar panel. Very fragile here at the territory. Usually uh, August, we harvest in August on the North Italy for the Riesling, uh, Savignon to, for the Prosecco, to make the, the Medio Prosecco. It's August, at the end of August. Here, uh, the harvest, uh, the white is September. At the end of September, it's uh, for the Sangiovese and the other red grapes. Uh, and depends on the season. Yeah, this yeah. year, uh, this season will be a little bit early because we have a more warmer uh, weather. Uh, so that is the, but it, that is the time, September, October. Same. That, that's the same. And the olives, to make the olive oil, it's uh, October, November. That is the second step. So when the, 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 the farmer they finish with the wine, we start with the olives. Mm -hmm. 
This is the Castle new Hotel. Hotel. Uh, just uh, opened this season and looking the, the golf courts.